Also, I was thinking I really want to turn on auto lights. All lights. Wait! They actually work? Tell me I'm not, not the only person just finding this out. That you can actually turn the fans on in The Sims. My mind is absolutely blown. Soul Soul Simmers and welcome back to a brand new episode of the pack Legacy Challenge. A legacy challenge where every generation is a new pack and we get to play through all of them. We're back with the... the is it still the Hart household? I mean, I guess. Yule's name is Hart as well. Every single time I load into the household, I'm like, wait, hold up. Am I saying it right? I actually just checked the rules of my own challenge because, you know, I'm, I'm also not a superhuman. I don't remind all 29 generations. Remind, sure. I can't even speak, so clearly I'm not a superhuman. Anyways, I actually saw that Yule needs to have a job as a teenager and still finish high school as an A-grade student. So I did download the multiple jobs mod, but I also said that I kind of wanted him to join an after-school activity. Now I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> because that means that he's he's gonna be in scouts in the weekend. He's gonna have a job, probably working in a fast food restaurant or something, or as a barista. I'm not really sure whether I want to do the morning shift or the evening shift. He still needs to do all of his homework to get a great student. And he is going to be in the football team. So I'm just gonna see like, what can we do that will not conflict? Let's actually start by enrolling him into the football team. Where does one do that? Is that here? And then join after school activity. Let's let's start with that. He's, he's all the way over here, by the way. I actually don't know. I think he went jogging. So I want him to be a football team member. Okay, so now he has both, right? Yeah, okay. So the multiple job mod is working. That's good. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. And now let's see if we can also find a job. I'm a little bit scared. I'm not gonna lie. This is going to be very chaotic. <laughs> Okay, so his football team is from 3.30 to 5.30. If he were to work as a fast food employee, he would start at 5. So that would always mean that he would be late. So I don't think that's actually an option. Dog walker has the same work times. Bookstore clerk, same work times. I also have, by the way, I have like custom teenager careers. In case you're like bookstore clerk, that's a thing. We have that in game. No, it's, it's part of my careers situation. <laughs> that's weird to say that. I have over 250 custom careers in my game. I do have a whole separate video on that. Feel free to check it out on my channel. I also have a video coming out. I'm actually not sure when it's coming out to like compare to when this episode is airing, but really soon about all of the mods that I have in my game. So like if you're interested about how I mod my game, um, make sure to keep an eye out for that one because it's going to come out soon. And I do like a full overview of all of the mods that I have in my game. So uh, make sure to keep an eye out for that. If he's a babysitter, that would start at six, but that would be until 12 in the morning. When would he do his homework? That's my only question because he's in school until three. That means that he would have to do his homework in lunch break at school. Always, I think. Although, can he do his homework at lunch? Because I think if he's in school, he can't do his homework yet. Hmm. Okay, let me think. Film would be 5 p.m. to 9 as well. Same grocery store clerk. Lifeguard. Although, wait, not... they they He wouldn't work all of the days. Yeah, but still. Okay, that would be 7 a.m. until 12. He can't really do that because then he would be in school. Actually, retail employee could work because then he would start work at 6, which is 30 minutes after after football ends and it would be until 10 so if he comes home i would have some time to like take care of his needs and send him to bed we can also do saturday jobs but then he only works for an hour and it's unpaid yeah let me not do that i don't want to do unpaid work he can also become a simfluencer we could do a morning shift or an evening shift honestly i i don't really like that one though he could be a video game streamer i think that's something that i said on the last episode of him gaming like I, he could become a video game streamer since he's already going to be on the football team and i want to see if i can complete the scouts i actually might not want to do the video gaming and I just want to like send him off to work from time to time. Let's go for the, what did I pick again? The retail employee. That being for like six to 10, I think that should work. Okay. He has a very tight schedule now because that means that he needs to go to school from eight to three. Then he goes to football from 3.30 to 5.30. Then he goes from to work from six to 10. And then in the weekend, he goes to scouts from two to four. You know, let's let's start off, right? Do we, uh, let's actually sell our kids homework. Did we already do our homework? I think think so. It is a Friday, by the way. So that means that we first have two weekend days before the whole nightmare begins. Let me actually check the retail. Oh my God. I didn't think about this. The retail employee is actually also on a Saturday. It starts on a Tuesday and it's also until Saturday. He's in scouts until four. So it doesn't conflict with his, um, with his scout schedule, but that means that he actually has to work tonight and tomorrow. Although I guess tonight, since we just enrolled him in the career, he actually doesn't have to do that. So he needs to work tomorrow. Okay. So he's already done his homework, which I guess 
guess it's a good thing. So let's actually see if we can focus on the scout stuff. Let's come over here and view the badge progress. And also for the, oh my God, if you hover over this, look at this. This is so, this is insane. <laughs> <laughs> he has so much to do. It feels like university, you know, when you have so many classes at the same time. Um, but let's see. Okay, so he needs to reach charisma level two if he wants to move up in his, his job. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Give back. To earn this badge, donate items for charity from the mailbox. You know, we could kind of do this since we are going to change his room anyways because he still has a kid's room at home, I just realized. And he aged up into a teen on a holiday, but he has very much a kid's room. We could maybe potentially donate some of his old furniture rather than like selling it we could donate it to charity and then we can give his room a makeover so i think we should be able to get this one that that shouldn't be too hard the good deeds one is making someone laugh we should be able to get that one very easily like we're so close we actually did so much for the outdoor adventure oh my god i didn't think about this but because we took a holiday to granite falls we were unconsciously working on this badge i totally did not think about that but that's perfect okay so i think we should be able to complete these three and then maybe i'll i'll continue with this one but let's start with the other things first. So we want to donate stuff. I don't think I've ever donated things to charity. So donate gift to charity. Oh, it has to be in our inventory. Okay, that's rather unfortunate. Is there anything that we can... We can maybe donate his his playing cards. That's four things. I feel like that's such a good coming of age thing to do, though. If you're a kid and then you go up into a teen and your parents are like, okay, son, you need to clean out your room. There's, the, there's going to be some things that we're going to give away to charity. And then like he learns this li life lesson of giving back or something because he's going to give away his like favorite playing cards. I think that's actually kind of cute. Is there anything else that I can like move? We still have the jar for marbles, but I guess I'm not sure we can put it in here. So maybe we can give it away. Otherwise, we can also give some of the Easter eggs away. Like I don't want to give the glowing one away, but I guess we could give another one away. Although that one is actually the one that I want to keep because it's really pretty. Let's do this. Donate to charity. Okay, we can actually donate them. Let's donate something else. Let's donate the other card. Two more let's donate this Medusa. That was weird. I read that. And I was like, does it say Medusa? But it said Medusa. <laughs> and let's do the decorative Easter egg, actually. Yay! We got a scout's badge. Awesome. Okay, we need to give his room a makeover still. But before I do that and I collect the other badge, it says that we can search for frogs to complete the other like outdoorsy aspiration. And there should be a place where we can search for frogs in this neighborhood, right? Usually that's around the water. So let's see. No, nothing. We can do some more fishing, I guess. That's over here. Go fishing. You can do that. And then while, while you're doing that, I'm just going to click around and see if there's a place for frogs. I know in Newcrest, there's a lot of places where you can collect frogs. But I'm guessing here we can fish, but not collect any frogs. Let's fast forward. So he goes fishing. See, we immediately got it, even though he's only been fishing for like three seconds. Okay, so now we have that scout's badge too. His needs are actually doing pretty okay. Okay, Dawn is actually doing really well, apart from the fact that she needs to sleep at one point, but he can just do his own things. He can just go pee, stuff like that. Maybe you can also unload and put the laundry away. And then I think we, we hacked all the systems we can hack at this point. Like we did that while we were still on holiday. Yeah, we cannot hack right now. Malcolm's enthusiasm is noted, but maybe you should take a break for a while. Too much hacking can be a bad thing. Really? Nah, I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, he's, he's catching a lot of fish, but honestly, we can actually be done with fishing. And then what was the other thing? What, what is, what is going on here? It is a, what? That is, that, that is a whole new glitch in laundry. My clothing pile is literally floating upside down. Look at the water drops. They're like kind of floating into space. I'm so confused. Anyways, as soon as he's done, he can clean it up. And then let's see as if the dryer is free and if we can put it away. Do laundry, add to dryer. Is that going to work? Is he going to? Yeah, see, he's saying like, I can't reach it. I move it here. Can you do it?
Well, that was certainly a thing, huh? Clear the lint tray and dry the laundry. And then since your social is low, you're gonna troll the... F Does your social go up from trolling the forums? Okay, yeah, go, go say hi to the cat. I feel like that's much more constructive. You actually need to go home. Why can you not go home? What is your problem? I forgot what the other badge was. Oh, that's annoying. We also still have to upgrade his room, but I'm kind of postponing it because I want to get the last scouts badge. The young signed the good deeds one. Oh yeah, we should we should actually make someone laugh. That's what we needed to do. Then we can... I wonder if it works if he cleans the cat litter because I feel like that worked before. Let's wait for him to be back home. Also, Don just went to sleep, but honestly, that's not a bad call because it is kind of late. Maybe he should also go to sleep. Come on, you. Chop, chop. We have important things to do because I think if we collect three more badges, we might actually even get two levels in scouts. We could reach the highest level of scouts potentially. That could be kind of cool. I don't think I've ever reached that before. Okay, that did not tick off his scouts badge. So maybe we can make someone laugh in the morning, but let's actually collect badges so that we have two more. Yay! We got promoted to Pegasus Scout. Let's go. What is the next one? Yeah. Oh, the next one is nine. Okay, so the next one we actually need to reach all of them. So then we need to go for the scientist one too, but let's actually give his room a bit of a makeover because he is now a teenager. So there's a lot of things in here that we don't need anymore. Any of the children's toys we can actually get rid of because he can't use them anyways. Okay, those things can maybe stay. Although if I'm being honest, I might actually want to give him a double bed because this room is so huge that I, I actually genuinely don't think we'll need all of the space. He can keep his desk, but I'm just going to get rid of this, the things that like look very childish and make it a little bit more teenagey. Maybe he can actually have a... I have an idea. I have an idea. Hold up. Let me let me think. So I'm going to start by giving him a bigger bed because I feel like the room has plenty of space for it. And then I want to give him two nightstands. I kind of... I feel tempted to just sort by the high school... No, not Discover University. Um, High school years one. Let's see what we have. I feel like those are actually perfect with that bed. Let's use that. And then for night lights, let's see what we have. I actually feel like these are... Mm, they're not really the vibe. Let me actually go to the normal night lights. I think my favorite night lights of all times but I'm not really sure if they would work in this specific room. But they're the little wall lights. I think they came with, yeah, growing together, these ones. I use these all the time because they're just so, they're so simple and I like them. They're cute. Okay, let me get that for now. I was thinking it would be kind of cool if we give him a little like TV setup in his room or something, like a little gaming, a gaming setup. So I'm just gonna shuffle around some things. I feel like let's get him another wardrobe. I'm very tempted to put on my CC again. Okay. I think I did it. I changed his room. So I made this area into like a little console area with a sofa and his Xbox or PlayStation or whatever. I did keep all of the paintings and stuff that he made as a kid. And I kind of just left them here because I feel like it kind of matches the vibe. I think it's cute that it's still over here. I did give him also kind of like a gaming setup where he could just do some gaming. I feel like it matches that he's into gaming as well, that he has his computer set up, but it's also where he can study and stuff. So we have a little book cart with all of his study books. We still have the scouts board in here. This is his sleeping corner now where we I kept the same rug but I just changed the bed and all of this the like the side tables and stuff I did keep a lot of memorabilia so like the thing that he made himself and the scouts trophy which I think by the way we should have another one from yeah I just realized we have two scouts trophies now can I I can actually I didn't know the nine cheat also worked okay but I can't do I'll, I'll just place it over here hold up I'll just redo that there we go later on I could make like a little like a little shelf with all of his trophies I'm gonna sell all the fish that he caught by the way because we don't really need them he also found a an element, which I think we can also get rid of. He's hanging out with Elliot in his room, by the way. Oh, Damien is here too. Oh my God, Elliot, please don't start breaking my stuff. I literally just got a beautiful new mirror. I figured it makes sense. They has this really big mirror. I can't put my finger on why I think it makes sense, but I like it. We have this wardrobe over here with all of his stuff in it. And yeah, that's, that's the room makeover. I changed a lot, but I also didn't change too much. I don't want him to like deception. I, I don't think that's fun. That's the whole point. He doesn't like deception. Like his dad deceiving him. He doesn't like it. Anyways, I think I want him to go to sleep, but I kind of want the ghosts maybe to go away. His fun is a bit low, but we can work on that in the morning. Please go to sleep. Also, I was thinking I really want to turn on auto lights, all lights, because it's going to be so much easier to see where our sims are. Wait, they actually work? What? Tell me I'm not not the only person just finding this out.
that you can actually turn the fans on in The Sims. My mind is absolutely blown. I've always just used them as decorative items. Do they do anything? Do they give your Sims like a nice mood loot or something? Criminal presence. See, he doesn't like his dad. It's starting to be a thing. Okay, it doesn't give them a mood loot or anything. I wonder if it influences the temperature in the house. But that's so... Oh my god. Tell me I'm not the only one who didn't know this. Because I'm actually really surprised. That is so interesting. Okay, anyways. Besties, can you like go away? That'd be a suggestion. Like, can you please leave Yule to just go to sleep by himself? There we go. Malcolm's midlife crisis is over. Finally. Oh my goodness. That took how many episodes? Like four? That's ridiculous. Can you go back to sleep? I know that it's really, really early and you're done sleeping yet, but that doesn't, doesn't matter. I want you to just go back to sleep. Okay. Everyone's waking up now, I guess, because it's six. So that'll be a good time for, for people to start waking up. Although it's Saturday, maybe they can sleep in a little bit. You cannot sleep in too long though. You actually have to go get yourself something to eat because, oh, you're not done sleeping. Okay. After that, you can go shower. Then his fun is low. So I'm tempted to let him play games for a little bit and then he can actually we, what do we need to do again i need to check the science board to get the last scouts badge and then today we need to go to scouts and then we actually have to work that shouldn't be too hard right you can actually go wake up and do all of your things as well you go wake up and do all of your things and then you can also do laundry i still cannot believe i'm doing laundry in this save i'm like so committed the funny thing is that i'm doing laundry in this save and then i'm playing the barbie legacy challenge in like my free time and i'm also doing laundry there and now i'm like debating whether i should start doing laundry in my not so berry challenge that i'm playing over on twitch because i'm like but with the not so berry challenge i kid you not we had like a full household i was just not ready for it but we're gonna enter a phase in the not so berry where we're only gonna have one sim and the parents living there at one point so i'm i'm actually thinking if maybe we can do some laundry we're getting to a point where that's feasible he can sleep until nine latest if he's not done sleeping at nine i'm actually gonna wake him up it's saturday morning 9 a.m you're gonna do your things no and also you're not gonna swim to get your hygiene up what are you doing? React to first puberty changes. Oh my goodness. Dawn, Bessie, can you go out of the bathroom instead of doing push-ups there? Because um, we kind of need Yule to use the bathroom. Take a quick shower and then you can go do that and then you can come play it. I hate it when I have like a whole plan for my Sims and I like actually give them all the, all the actions and then I see that they came up with something stupid like swimming to get their hygiene up. And then I'm like, oh, come on, really? Maybe she can... Let me see, where's our cat? How is Catastrophe doing? Go pick up the cat and and, like give the cat some attention he's uncomfortable for uncomfortable from being so hungry i get that she's just stuck gotta love that she has action she's not doing anything she's just stuck so annoying when sims do that oh he's gonna mourn a dog again that he didn't know i hate it when they do that as well oh well also we just got the reminder to take seasonal pictures we did take pictures while yule was still a kid we actually kind of need to put them up somewhere i just realized that we have them in our infantry i just don't know who has them our photo wall is getting too full it's a problem she also has a fish that we can sell i actually always kind of like the the horizontal ones more but let's give it a frame i think we're using the lightwood ones right and then i need to go in here to make sure that they're a little bit more aligned because right now it's just messy also i just noticed by the way in the barbie legacy whenever i go into build buy it doesn't take this much time to load even though i'm using a shit ton of cc so i'm getting to a point where i genuinely think it is because this save has been this is like the the third generation because the not so berry is even worse so i think it's just the longer you play in a generation, the bigger that problem becomes. I was also thinking maybe I could move this one family portrait into Yule's room and then have the other three in this room because they don't really fit on the wall and I don't like that that one has a different frame. So now we have, I know it's dark because the light is out, but that's the one where we went to the beach with Don and Parker and Elliot and Damien. That's the one where Don was pregnant with Yule and that was like the Christmas that they celebrated together. And then that's the holiday they took together. I think that's, that's really cute that we all have that in here right now. And then in, in Yule's room, we have the the one where he's a toddler with his mom and dad. I think that's cute. I like that a lot. And then also we have one here, by the way. I just realized we have one here where he's a kid and they also have catastrophe. You know what we could do? We could get literally get one of these again, but then with him as a teenager and just hang it up above the kitchen table because I just got that reminder of like the family picture day pop-up thingy. And it could be cute to have a picture with him as a teen because I think as soon as we get into the rest of the gameplay, things are gonna become so chaotic that I kind of need this. Oh my God. 
god, that's almost like an exact remake of the picture. That's hilarious. I think I want to go for that one because it's the, the one in the woods. Oh crap. I actually, no, 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 wait. I need the other one because I want the frames to match. I need to go into live mode. I think the outfits are cute. I, I kind of don't want catastrophe to be in the picture, but I don't think we can really change that. Okay. That's actually kind of cute. I'll, I'll lock that one. So now they have, they have very similar pictures, but then like when he grew up, I think that's adorable. I like that a lot. Dawn is doing super, super well. Maybe she can just go jogging. Nice Saturday morning run. Uh, Malcolm's social is a bit low, so he can maybe just hang out with the cat or something. Don't know what you're going to do to fix that. Goes, ah, no. Catastrophe just, I literally wanted to click on Catastrophe and then she started running. Kiss and hug. Pamper on couch. There we go. Okay, how are you doing? Where are you even? Oh, you're there. Okay, his fun is still low. So why are you not gaming? I told you to game. It's raining outside. It's a perfect Saturday for some gaming. Playing some Sims. I always love the Simception of like me playing Sims while my Sims are playing Sims. Always great. Okay, he needs to go to Scouts at two. And the only thing we still need to do is we need to do something with the science badge. I'm just going to quickly open the board and check. I think it's like looking through a telescope, but there are more. And I want to see which one is the easiest to access for us. Because looking through a telescope is dangerous these days. You can die in the Sims from looking through a telescope. So I'm not sure if I'm really ready for that. Oh, and we need to do three things for it. Okay, so programming using the microscope or the telescope. We can do the... Um, maybe we can just do all three. Although I don't think we have a microscope anywhere. So I'd have to figure out where I have one. Same for the telescope. Although that's an easier one we could just get. Let's see. Practice programming. Let's just try... Let's just start with that one. And I'm kind of curious how long it takes for that badge progress to kick in. And also his meeting is in an hour. So let's actually stop programming. He's programmed for like an hour. Oh, look, Yuki is here. I actually just now realized that I never unlocked our front door. The rumors are true. Yuki Hart wants to go to prom with Yule. Should we go with Yuki? Should we just go with our bestie and be like, yeah, whatever. If we if we meet someone that we want to date, that's fine. But we're just going to go with our cousin. Honestly, I kind of like that. That's cute. That is really cute that he came to ask. Okay, that actually did tick it off. Okay, so that's nice. Then let us go downstairs already because I don't want to be in that situation again where he is late for scouts because it happens every single time. Also for his aspiration, we need to do homework five times, which is just, I guess, as soon as the the school week is done that should be done that should be fixed reach a level three of after school activity we enrolled in football so that's going to be good attend career day that's going to happen automatically earn and keep an a we need to do that for the challenge as well so that i feel like this aspiration really fits and then reach level three of a side hustle i'm not really sure if i think it only counts if you do this for like streaming or but i'm gonna give myself this if we get three promotions in our job which basically means that i do need to work on that i was like oh i'm not gonna work on the charisma part but I I think I now need to. If we get three promotions in our job as a retail employee, then I get to tick this off as well and we'll reach this aspiration. I don't think he's going to have a long enough teenager life to reach all of this. When when does he age up? Is it here? No, that's Dawn's birthday. Okay, I think he only ages up here. Oh, that gives us plenty of time in game. So then I guess my goal is just going to be completing all of that. And if we don't reach it or, or if we reach all of it before, then I think what I'll just do is I'll just age him up. I guess. Okay. Can we hack already? Very important question. Program. Hack. We can. Then Bestie can come down here and can do some hacking. Land grab systems are on the list. Llama corn is on the list. Dario trust fund. Okay. Yule's off to a scouts meeting. I think his performance and at scouts were already really good, right? Like I don't have to have him work hard. Oh no, actually he needs to work hard again because we went up a level. So that could be nice. If we manage to like finish the scouts part for this weekend, we might be able to like unroll him in scouts. Scouts. And I'm not sure if you can say unroll. I know you can say en enroll him, but can you say unroll when you're like, so un -en un un enroll? <laughs> I think that's how you say it. I don't think, oh, his computer broke. God dang it. Now I have to re enter everything. And I, I think he didn't even lost the badge. Oh. I thought he lost the badge. The panic. After a scouts meeting, Yule spotted a badge on the floor. It turned out to be one of the more impressive badges that he hadn't made a lot of progress towards earning. What should he do? Keep it. Yule pinned the badge on his own vest. Later, a fellow scout spotted it and wanted to talk about earning it for themselves. They quickly saw through the ruse and turned Yule in. The badge was taken away and he got lectured for his little stunt. Oopsie. I mean, he's still learning the difference between right and wrong. He, ha he has been raised by Malcolm, so... Okay, let's click all of these again. Because right 
right in the middle of hacking, it broke. So now I have to select all of them again. Okay, I think I got all of them. Maybe if we turned it in, we would have gotten like a positive thing from that. Oh, Dawn is just chilling. Yuki is just using our computer. Fair enough. I can I can see that. Okay, let's fast forward the time a bit. Sentiment gained. Okay, that's cute. I like that. Yu is back from scouts meeting. Fantastic. Then I kind of need you to go on the computer and program as well. Update scouts pack website. Sure. I don't know what that means, but why not? Um, And then practice programming. Oh my God. The hacking does take a long time. 250. Okay. Okay. Yuki is going to go. You can just do your own thing. Oh crap. His work starts. Oh my God. See, this is what I mean. I should not be allowed to keep a schedule because his work starts in 45 minutes. Okay. That isn't too bad, but maybe I should have not done the updating scouts pack website. Just practice a little bit of programming before you go to work because I think that should take off another badge part thingy. 150. Okay. So that is um 400 in total that he, he got out of hacking today because we should be able to add that to the vault again. I'm still working towards woohooing in the vault. Like it's, I know that it probably will need a lot more money, but we're going gonna get there at one point and I'm just gonna get there by hacking. Okay, let's stop this because you have to go to work in like a minute. Come on. There we go. He's gonna go to work. Okay, we still need to reach charisma level two, but we can already work hard, I guess. And then his fun isn't that low. And since it's only two hours, we can work on that when he comes home. And then at least his work performance will already go up. And then from there, we can hopefully, hopefully get our promotions because I'm trying to do everything all at once, of course, because that sounds like me. Okay, let's fast forward to time a bit. How much is he gonna get from this third hack? Which is which one? The Lothario Trust Fund. Okay, I feel like that one always get, gets us a good... Oh, crap. It is prom. Oh, but he's at work. <sighs> we were going to go with Yuki. I completely forgot that prom would be today. I think we have to skip prom because we're working. I think maybe we can go next week. He'll be in high school still next week. So then we can go to prom and like we can actually prepare for it. I always think it's weird when your kids age up on a Friday because then on Saturday they already go to prom even though they've never been to high school. So I'm just going to skip prom. How much did Malcolm get? Okay, 196. So that gives us 596. You'll see that for the last one is going to be an uneven number. Again, I'm going to need my calculator because I won't be able to add it up. It's going to be embarrassing, but okay. 100. Okay, let me, let me do this. I can do this. So that is um 599. So let's make that 600. Okay, you're going to see my weird math. Let's make that 600 for easy calculation. So then that would be 600 plus 160. So that would be 760. But then we have to take that one away. So that would be 759. <laughs> I'm really proud of myself for doing the math, okay? 759. That's actually a lot, considering to what we've done before of how much we've gotten before. I think this is the highest to this day. Add money to vault. What was it again? See, now I don't remember. This is a problem. So we had 250 and 150. So that was 400. Then we had 500. That was almost, that was 600, 700. Okay, I remember again. There we go. Yay. Can we woohoo in it yet? No. The pile is getting bigger though. Let's close and lock. So in the vault right now, we have 2,566 and we at the beginning of the episode we actually had 14k but then I redecorated Yul's room so then now we have a little bit less which I think is okay okay now that you've hacked everything I think it is okay for you to take care of your needs my god we have a vampire here and our door is not locked let's fix that real quick before we have a vampire in the house he has to work until 10 so he should almost be done with work when he comes home let's make sure that we take care of his needs really quickly oh we can't do that while he's he's not here that makes sense how is his work performance doing Doing, though oh his work performance is super high and he got 160 nice we also need to make more food because our fridge is running a little bit empty maybe dawn since you're doing so fantastic you could actually do that you can make us some more food that'd be perfect i almost clicked the mac and cheese again and i was like no 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 no, no. we were we were on a, a tour to experiment more with our food okay malcolm is just gonna watch some tv and have his dinner i feel like that's very accurate oh he couldn't get the food because dawn was of course ex at that exact same time walking to the the fridge so he can also get his food and then watch the current channel i think after this she can cook another meal by the way let's do the tofu pad thai because that sounds delicious oh there's a plate on the floor great i'll just put it on the table oh he is he is a, a good kid he's just cleaning up his own plate watch the current channel oh wait we also have the pictures here oh we could actually add the other picture hold up i just realized i keep forgetting that we have the vertical pictures over here let's add a frame light wood i do have to quickly go into build mode to like raise it up a little bit because it's a bit low okay he's just watching some tv He's feeling very confident. I love that for him. Oh my god. Godness. Oh my godness. <laughs> 
goodness. He only has positive moodlets. Can you believe it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please tell me she's not making a fire in the kitchen. Oh, no, no. She's just not really good at cooking. What is her cooking skill? Oh, level seven? That's not even that low. Okay, that's an... Oh, now it's level seven, actually, because before it was technically level six. You can make one more dish before you... Although it is kind of late, because... but it's Sunday next morning, so I think you can make one more dish and then go to sleep. Maybe you can make something with fish. Fried fish plate. That sounds good. I like it. That's a good Sunday meal, actually. Oh my god, he's watching politics. I was like, why is his fun not going up that fast? But now I'm like, I can see why. Also, hold up. He needs to wash his face and I need to turn acne off because there is this this feature in high school years where your sim can get acne and there is a glitch that when your sim has acne as a teen and you don't wash their face enough, they will forever have acne. You can cannot take it away. Like it will just stay in their face also as an adult. And I have this in my not so very challenge where like my main sim is now an elder with very bad teenage acne. So I'm gonna just disable it. But the, the stupid thing is if you don't disable it before they are a teenager or like before they become an adult, they will forever have it. I'm actually thinking that he might have it too now. I need to make sure that he washes his face. Apply a facial cleanser. There we go. Can he self woohoo? Can teenagers self woohoo? Yeah, he can. Okay. You know, just, just, I think that would be realistic. Okay, she has made more food. Then I think what she's gonna do is she's gonna do the laundry and then she's gonna go to bed. And Malcolm can actually go to bed as well because it is kind of 1 a.m. in the morning. So it, it is time for them to go to sleep. Let's wash the laundry and then also go to sleep. And then everyone is asleep. Yay. And they're all doing quite all right. I feel like such an accomplished simmer again. I think that's where I'm gonna leave it for today because I've been already filming for quite a long time. I actually took more time than I anticipated to give Yule's room a little bit of a makeover. I would love to hear your thoughts on how the room turned out and just in general, your thoughts on how silly I am for trying to do and scouts and football team and a job and high school and all those things. If you have any fun ideas of things we could do in high school, feel free to let me know in the comments down below in terms of like dating story, asking someone to prom, maybe something that you did in high school that was really fun to do. Uh, feel free to drop it in the comments. I would absolutely love to hear your suggestions. That was the episode for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, this would be a perfect time to do so. And if you like this video, feel free to toss it a cheeky like because it does really help the video get to more people and with all of that being said thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye everyone